Ever wonder why some people struggle financially while others thrive? What if I told you the secret lies in avoiding certain money traps? Today, we're diving into the eye-opening insights of Warren Buffett, the world's greatest investor. Discover the seven surprising things the poor waste money on that the rich don't. You won't believe what's on this list. Stay tuned to transform your financial habits and unlock the path to success. Let's dive into our first financial pitfall, gambling. It might seem like a harmless way to have some fun, but Warren Buffett, the oracle of smart investing, warns us about its hidden dangers. Picture the allure of casinos, bright lights, the clink of coins, the thrill of the bet. It's captivating, but it's a mirage that can quickly drain your wallet. Buffett points out that while an occasional flutter might seem harmless, it often leads to a dangerous cycle. Each spin, each card turn, can turn into chasing losses. And soon, you're not just playing a game. You're caught in a financial storm. Gambling is essentially a game of chance, a risky wager, on luck. But remember, true success isn't about luck. It's about making calculated, wise decisions. Every dollar gambled is a dollar not invested in your future. In the realm of wealth building, the house always wins, but in gambling, you're not the house. You're playing against odds designed to work against you. So think about it. Is it wise to bet your financial future on a roll of the dice? Wisdom dictates that your hard-earned money should be channeling towards building assets, not vanishing into thin air. Let's keep uncovering more financial traps that can hinder your path to success. Next up, let's tackle a widely accepted financial goal. Buying a house. It's often seen as a symbol of success, a dream achievement. But here's a twist from Warren Buffett's playbook. Owning a house early in your financial journey might not be the wisest move. Surprising, right? Buffett, a beacon of investment savvy, suggests that the poor often leap into home ownership without realizing its financial implications. The common mistake? Diving into deep debt to own a home. It's not just about the mortgage, it's about tying up your assets, your savings, in a single immobile investment. This move can be financially destructive. Why? Because a house doesn't generate income. Instead, it brings a tide of expenses, maintenance, taxes, and unforeseen repairs. The rich, on the other hand, often rent while they build their wealth in more fluid assets. This strategy allows flexibility and the freedom to invest in opportunities that can grow their wealth, rather than being bogged down by a static asset. So, before you sign that mortgage, think, are you ready to commit a large chunk of your finances to something that doesn't actively contribute to your wealth? There's a time for everything, and owning a house is no exception. Making this decision at the right financial stage is key to ensuring it's a blessing, not a burden. This script aims to present the concept of home ownership in a new light, challenging conventional wisdom while aligning with Warren Buffett's financial philosophy. Moving on to our third point, paying for a gym without commitment. It's a common New Year's resolution, isn't it? To join a gym, get fit. But here's a reality check based on Warren Buffett's insights. A gym membership is only as good as the commitment behind it. Did you know that a staggering number of gym memberships go unused? People often sign up with good intentions, but life gets in the way, and those intentions don't translate into action. Buffett's take on this is eye-opening. It's not just a waste of money, it's a missed opportunity. Each unused gym membership is a reminder of unfulfilled potential, both physically and financially. The irony is, there are plenty of ways to stay fit without breaking the bank. Running in the park, home workouts, community sports, these cost little to nothing. The real investment here is your time and dedication, not your money. So before you sign up for that gym membership, ask yourself, are you truly committed? Will you make the most of this investment? Or is it just a feel-good decision that'll soon turn into an unused, expensive badgie in your wallet? Remember, effective money management is not just about where you spend, but also about ensuring value for every dollar spent. Fitness is important, 
but let's be smart about how we achieve it. Now, let's delve into the allure of luxury brands. It's easy to get caught up in the glamour of high-end labels, isn't it? But here's a perspective shift, courtesy of Warren Buffett's wisdom. The true cost of luxury is not just in the price tag, it's in the value it fails to add to your life. Buffett, known for his frugality despite immense wealth, questions the rationale behind buying luxury items. Yes, millionaires can afford the extravagance of designer clothes and accessories, but often you'll find them opting for simplicity and functionality over brand names. Why? Because smart investment is not about how much you spend, but the value you get for your money. Consider this. A luxury brand t-shirt might cost $200, while a similar quality unbranded one might be just $10. The difference? The brand logo. Is it really worth paying a premium for just a name? This isn't about shunning luxury altogether, but being mindful of your spending choices. It's about understanding that wealth isn't displayed in the brand of your clothes, but in the health of your bank account. So next time you're tempted by that high-end label, ask yourself, is it truly an investment in quality or just an expensive way to fit in? Remember, Building wealth is about making choices that add real value to your life, not just your wardrobe. Let's shift gears to our fifth point, buying a new car. It's a dream for many, isn't it? Driving off the dealership lot in a brand new vehicle. But hold that thought and listen to what Warren Buffett has to say about this seemingly attractive decision. Here's a hard hitting fact. The moment you drive a new car off the lot, it loses a significant chunk of its value. We're talking about a depreciation of 20-30% in the first year alone. In five years, it could drop to 60% of its original price. Now think about it. Is it really worth investing a large sum in an asset that's guaranteed to lose value so rapidly? Most people finance new cars with loans, which means not only are you losing on depreciation, but you're also paying interest. It's like a double financial hit. Buffett advises looking at cars not just as a mode of transportation, but as a financial decision. The smarter move? Consider buying a used car. A vehicle just a few years old can still be in great condition, and you get to avoid that initial steep depreciation. This way, you're making a more financially sound choice, getting the car you need without the unnecessary drain on your finances. So, before you're swayed by that new car smell, remember, a car is more than a luxury. It's a financial choice with long-term implications. This script focuses on the financial wisdom of purchasing a used car over a new one, considering depreciation and the overall impact on personal finances. On to our sixth key point, watching TV and playing video games. It's a common way to unwind, right? But here's a thought-provoking perspective from Warren Buffett. How we spend our time can be as critical as how we spend our money. Buffett highlights a startling contrast. While households in lower economic brackets often spend considerable time in front of screens, wealthier individuals typically devote their time to more productive endeavors. It's not just about the cost of the latest gaming console or the premium TV subscriptions. It's about the opportunity cost, what you could achieve with the time spent on these activities. Think about it. Hours spent gaming or binge watching shows could be directed towards learning new skills, reading, or even starting a side business. These activities have the potential to enhance your knowledge, grow your income, and ultimately contribute to your financial growth. It's not about completely giving up TV or games, but rather it's about balance and making conscious choices. Are you prioritizing your leisure in a way that also aligns with your long-term financial and personal growth goals? So, the next time you reach for the remote or game controller, remember Buffett's advice. Use your time as wisely as you use your money. Every hour is an investment in your future. Finally, let's talk about extra vacant vacations. Traveling the world, experiencing new cultures. It's a dream for many. But here's an insight from Warren Buffett that could change the way you view those dream vacations. Buffett cautions against the allure of lavish trips, especially when they lead to financial strain. 
it's not uncommon for people to stretch their budgets or even dive into debt for that once-in-a-lifetime holiday. But the aftermath? Months, sometimes years, of financial recovery. The question arises, is a few weeks of luxury worth years of financial burden? Consider this. Vacations are about experiences, not extravagance. Buffett suggests that the joy of travel doesn't necessarily come from how much you spend, but from the experience itself. There are ways to have memorable trips without draining your bank account. Careful planning, budget-friendly destinations, and perhaps even off-season travel. The key is to balance the desire for adventure with financial responsibility. Don't let a temporary escape turn into a long-term financial regret. Instead, plan your travels in a way that they become a part of your rich life experiences without impoverishing your future. So, before you book that exotic getaway, remember Buffett's advice. Travel is about making memories, not accumulating debts. Your future self will thank you for vacations that are as financially savvy as they are enjoyable. In conclusion, mastering finances isn't just about earning, but smartly managing your spending, from avoiding gambling to thoughtful travel. Warren Buffett's insights teach us to prioritize value over extravagance. Loved this video? Hit like and share your thoughts in the comments. For more on finance, investment, and savvy business ideas, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell for your financial education journey. Stay wise with your wealth.